Okay, so where were we when the last video ended? We had a few people die, unfortunately. Griffin God died. Um, who else died? We had a couple really... I think it was Dowd Pride, too. Um, come here, dead peoples. Yep, Dowd Pride and Griffin God. Unfortunately, they are no longer with us. But it looks like Alex has joined our squad. I gave him an AR-15, and we're going to get him some body armor. He is now with us. He's wanted for murder. Um, we're in... I think we're in the blue one. The blue sports car. I hope we are. Hopefully everybody's riding together. <clears throat> yeah, he's wanted for murder now, so he's with us anyways. Armed assault, resisting arrest, because he helped us break out of the Zakharov apartments. Zakharov apartments also do not... They don't have any heat anymore, which is fairly good. I'm going to send this squad... Actually... Actually, you know what? I'm going to do something else here. We're going to have... Hmm, who do we want to risk here? I think we'll risk Ali Karras. He can go try to dispose of some bodies. We're just going to pass a turn here. I want to see... I'm sure the cops will chase after him. They always do. There's no way to easily dispose of a body. Nope, and the police chase after him. He has an AR-15, a cheap suit. He's one of our good riders. I'm going to try to... I'm going to fight back. He shoots, hits the body, the police officer swings with a nightstick, bruises, we hit him in the leg, he asks for a blanket. Come on, Ali Karras, there we go. And they're trying to arrest him again. Damn it. I guess he had multiple bodies to dispose of. Well, he's probably gonna die here. He's not a major character, we haven't wasted much time on him, so just fight back. He hits one in the body, he gets bashed in the body. You better do something. He gets bashed in the body and utters his final words. LCS fights off the cops. Not really. <laughs> Not really. And one of them died. Oh yeah, and one thing that I noticed also. Z-Sword, your left leg was completely ripped off in that attack. Your left arm's also shot up. Do we need to make you look for anything? Z-Sword... No, you don't need a wheelchair. You don't need anything else. And I'm so much of a jerk, I'm not going to send you to the hospital. Okay, so... Just check, looking over my squad here. Who, who should join them? I really feel... Well... Mador can recruit one person. Maybe I'll off-screen a little bit here. Are they being hunted down? Yeah, heat is slowly rising on them. Hmm. You know what? Let's go ahead and... I'm gonna send Mador... Everything is closed down. Go ahead and go to the Tyrell Park here. Z-Sword says a prayer. Whoa, never mind. Z-Sword coughs up blood. I guess we won't. Z... I don't want to send Z-Sword to the hospital because he'll be gone for months. Let's go ahead and release, how about, AM Radio Memos. The Liberal Guardian runs a story featuring AM Radio plans, calling listeners sheep to be told what to think. There we go. And Poplars has left the free clinic. Poplars, were you good at anything? You are M. You're good at rifle. Welcome to the squad, Poplars. I don't know where you were. Where are you? You're at the shelter, okay? Looks like the squad has to go down to the shelter. We need to... Maybe grab some different suits here? No, probably not. Maybe more body armor, actually. Because all the body armor as they have on is, is going to be beat up. Let's go ahead and add him real quick. Who else should we have while we're down here? Poplars, get in there. Psychologist, author, painter... Kryger? Well, actually, you know, well, damn it. I keep wanting to do stuff, but then I remember that I, I've got to keep this squad active and moving around because their heat is going to continually keep them busy. 
I don't want to put anyone else in that squad just yet. We'll go recruit somebody or something. Go ahead, though, and let's equip... Where's the body armor at? It is right there. Everybody take your new body armor. And... I better hand out magazines to everybody, too. Take 30. I don't know how many you can hold. Take 30. Take 30. 30 for you. Poplars, you don't have gun yet. I guess we'll get a gun back at our safe house. <laughs> Homeless shelter. Already 77% heat just for going there for one day. Crazy. And the police have surrounded the Zakharov apartments just as soon as we got there. The National Guard are replacing uh, them. They really want these guys dead. Hmm. Half tempted to surrender because I really don't want to risk any more of these people dying. Not senselessly, not needlessly. I'm going to surrender. We didn't have a very good run this time. Four members are taken into custody and Poplars is left there standing around going, What? What, what, what am I supposed to do now? Um, well, Poplars, you're going to start training, actually. So if anything does happen to them, you're going to be in command, it looks like. Go ahead and learn some first aid. Kelderan. Um, we're going to need you now, actually. My, what? Milo, Kylo, Lilo, Hilo, you need to start making... Make some army uniforms. I don't think I've got too many of those. Okay, Kelderan. I'm not having him break into prison yet. I've decided that since my guys are going to stand trial, if any of them do not get off the hook, if they're all found guilty, we'll try to break them out then. Until then, the prisoners can stay there. Kelderan, we need to change your uniform then. Hmm. Well, I don't know what I want him to do, though. Guard uniforms. Could get a ninja. No. I guess. I was going to have him do something, but now I'm, I'm not sure I want him to. I think I'll just wait. We're going to wait and see what they're charged with. It's August 3rd. And, um. Once again, our, our combat squad has been arrested, but only after they suffered heavy, heavy casualties. In my opinion, it was quite heavy. Um, go ahead and keep training. Well, I want to check one thing here, and then I'm going to off-screen a few things. This martial arts is good. First aid is good. What do you need to train? Throwing, stealth, dodging is good. You know what, Kelderan? That's right. You need to go to college for driving. You're going to be one of our backup drivers. So go take driver's ed, Mr. Blind Guy. And I will be back whenever they are going to stand trial. We'll see what the charges are and whether or not they get off the hook. Well, that didn't take long. I don't even know where they surrounded, but the police have surrounded somewhere and are about ready to arrest us for flag burning, apparently. The homeless shelter. Gosh dang it, the homeless shelter is being surrounded again. I'm not going to shoot my way out, so we're going to surrender. Eight liberals are taken in, $1,500. And they left us with five this time. God, I hate these guys. Had a little bit of heat on the apartments there, and they got to storm us. So, CCS Rampage. I guess let's just go ahead and forward time here. It is almost the end of the month. They'll be transferred to the courthouse then, actually. We're going to run secret corporate files, because that's all I've got. And Congress is acting on legislation. Support the sanctity of marriage. Come on, give me some good news here. Don't let all my liberals be died, dying for nothing. None of the items made it to the president's desk. Kylo Hammerfall moves, Dimitri moves, Krieger moves, Dawn moves, Alchemia moves, Master Fancy Pants, Sword. Did anybody break? No one broke. 
Lokius, he left the free clinic. I want to see his juice. He's wanted for flag burning. Um, Lokius, I don't know if this does anything, but go out and do more civil disobedience, splashing paint and stuff on people. And um, you know what? Lokius, you're already getting arrested. Just give up. For, for some reason, every time I go out there to do civil disobedience, to do anything, really. Oh, I'm broke, damn it. But anytime I go out there with him, or anyone, the police show up. Poplars. Do I have anyone? I do not have anyone at the homeless shelter where all of my materials are. Okay. They st Oh god, those bastards. They stole all of my items. All of my suits. Do I have anything to sell? I need some rent money here. I don't have anything to sell. We can't afford any money. How about go... Go to the ransom apartments, you guys. Oh boy. You're here for a safe house. Yes, I know you guys can't afford anything. So... Quit trying to make suits then, how about that? How about you quit trying to make suits and you go sell some embroidered shirts? It's been a while since I've had anybody do that. Poplar, as you're at the shelter, you're gonna have to actually go sell some tie-dyed shirts now. Tie-dyed and embroidered shirts for sale. So what do we got? Two syringes for $20. I don't know why they're worth so much. Clothes, clothes, clothes. We got some assault rifles there that I think I will hang on to. Black suit I'll keep. There's so much damaged stuff, I can't even sell it. Lab codes I'm gonna keep. Three cell phones, a laptop, PDA. I'm gonna lose all of my apartments that I'm rented. $450, well, damn. Okay, so our, we're in real trouble here, then. It's the end of the month. I can't afford a professional attorney. So, if any of these charges are really bad, we're in trouble. Run the secret corporate files. We're really pressing the, uh, the homosexual rights issue right now. Every time we get information on it, we push it out there and the media just gobbles it up. So Kylo Hammerfall, you have 32 counts of felony flag burning. Unfortunately, I do not have a sleeper judge. Oh boy, we are fucked, folks. I really hope that it... I really hope that... Surely a different judge will come along, or is this judge going to do everything? You're going to have to use a court-appointed attorney. The jury is liberal. The defense is totally lame. You're guilty. 30 years in prison for flag burning? <laughs> it's going to be the flag burning that does my crew in. Demetria standing trial, 32 counts. Go ahead and use a court-appointed attorney. Guilty. Judge grants some leniency, only 15 years in prison. 32 counts of felony flag burning. <laughs> I can't do anything. Uh, defense arguments were pretty good. Not guilty, so Krieger gets off free. Dawn, you've got some persuasion and law. I'm going to have you defend yourself here. You give a standard presentation, or they do. You give a very powerful case, and you're not guilty. Two counts, okay, now the maybe some serious charges here. Alchemia, two counts of terrorism, 32 counts of felony flag burning, eight counts of felony assault, 100 counts of murder, theft, three counts of breaking and entering, 15 counts of vandalism, resisting arrest, and two counts of disturbing the peace. You are going to fry. You are going to fry. Pleading guilty will not save you here. You're just going to have to, we're going to have to break you out. Defense was lackluster. Yeah, you're guilty. You are sentenced to five consecutive life terms. Well, could be worse. Master Fancy Pants, you got pretty much the same charges here. 100 counts of murder, theft, breaking and entering, resisting arrest, two counts of disturbing the peace. You've got a little bit of persuasion, but no law. I'm gonna 
I'm gonna have mm, I'm gonna have you defend yourself just to test this out. I want to see. Your best friend is a juror from childhood. Let's see. Your case really sucked though. You're guilty. Five consecutive life terms. Z Sword, the one legged man. All your counts are the same. And you got tons of heart. I'm gonna use a court appointed attorney for you. Yeah, they really screwed you over there. Five consecutive life terms for you, Rar. Defend yourself. You can do it, right? Come on. Not guilty. Good job, Rar. Some of these people who survive are gonna have to make a daring prison break, I think. Gamma Ray, 32 counts of flag burning. You better defend yourself. You worked the jury very well. Not guilty. Kelderon. I really need you to be free. I'm gonna have you defend yourself, but you're the one that has the best chance of breaking into the prison without me having to spend 30 minutes off-screening here. But you made one horrible mistake after another, and you get 15 years in prison. Fuck. Me. Midor. You are in trouble. 62 counts of felony assault, 3 counts of breaking and entering, vandalism, resisting arrest. At least they didn't get you on racketeering. Persuasion 11, Law 2, Intelligence of 20. You're gonna defend yourself. You worked the jury very well, and they still found you guilty. Five consecutive life terms. Our leader here. You better succeed. You're gonna defend yourself. It's just flag burning. Not guilty. Our leader is free. Okay. Another horrible, horrible dilemma for our group here. Even worse is that we're broke. So, how about bulk tasks? Everybody get back to legal fundraising. Um, arts, t-shirts, whatever you feel you're good at, I don't care. And who has uh, the highest disguise skill for me to work with? Dawn has good disguise, decent stealth. Disguise, disguise. Poplars. No. T-Tex. Mm. I might actually go recruit some more people off screen here. See if I can find a professional thief or something. Because we're going to be breaking into the prison and getting our guys. We're not going to let them sit in there and rot for five consecutive life sentences, damn it. The only, the only, the only good news out of this entire situation is that the death penalty is not being enforced because there's no way they'd be walking if if that was conservative at all Dalla, you were the man and you are not going out there you're not going to try to break anybody out our leader you're not doing it and you've got to recruit some more people actually you know what? i'm going to off screen some stuff here guys i think this is a good point to start off screening you can see our money slowly going up there We'll be fine in the long run, I think. The CCS strikes. I want to see November 1st here, because there should be elections, if I'm not mistaken. Killer food. The elections are being held today. Yes, a Senate election for 2022. And wow, we switched over to a lot of elite liberals there. Not bad. House elections, come on. Yes, eat the seas up. Tear them apart. An elite social liberal party claims victory. Absolutely amazing. So we paid a high price in liberal lives here. Well, <clears throat> we've lost a few liberals. We've got a few in prison. We've paid a price. But I think it was well worth it. Loki is your standing trial. 32 counts of flag burning. Um, yeah, court appointed attorney. You've got some chance here. Not guilty. Lokius is free to be arrested again for some other crime. Go ahead and go do some liberal disobedience. Why not? I want I want his juice to get up a little bit higher. Primarily, I want his juice to raise so I can get his tailoring higher. Right now, he can't even make expensive suits. What good is he? He's not any good at all. Okay, I'll be back. Hopefully it won't be with bad news. 
Oh boy, am I glad to see you guys again. It has been a while since I last recorded anything, because I haven't done anything. I've been rebuilding our, our little empire here as legally as I possibly can. This is our crew. I still haven't named the last batch here. And you can see we're still pumping out expensive suits. I've got people going to class, learning how to teach. Uh, hopefully we can get some people who drive and have first aid skill. I don't know if I'll be putting back together the murder group anytime soon. In fact, I probably won't until we break the old ones out of prison. Um, for the time being, though, this is what's going on. What I wanted you, what I wanted to come back for, though, is November 1st is just about ready to be here, and that is an important day pretty much every year, I believe. I just wanted to make sure we, we caught it. What is going on today? Are they going to vote on something? The elections are today. The important propositions are right here. Punish the wealthy, yes. Expand capital punishment, no, don't expand capital punishment. We do not need the death penalty to be, reinf to be uh, reinstated here. I think it's been suspended or something. Death penalty is back to conservative, so... Got to be a little bit more careful there, but you can see the sliders here. Corporate law is all the way on elite liberal. I believe that is the only one. So, things are looking up. I haven't covered any of the voting that they have been doing every once in a while. And I've been pretty much just sitting here holding down W. Reading through the CCS reports. Not really, just... It, it doesn't matter, they're always striking and killing people, so... But this is what I'm doing, and I will be back shortly. Probably sometime in mid-2024, we're gonna... Hopefully get ready to break our guys out of prison because the presidential election will be right around the corner And I'd like to make a little bit of noise Before the election happens So we'll fast forward here right to the new year, and then I'm gonna start off screening again Hopefully we got enough money to last until the end of the month. I don't know We're using no I'm gonna have to sell some stuff No, I don't want to change my damn Logan my damn slogan my damn Krogan's here what I want you to do is go down to the pond and sell some stuff. We should have plenty of suits. 514 expensive suits there, first class. I like this tailoring group that we've got. It's one of the best we've ever had. $200,000 in our pockets. So, yeah. Not too shabby. And it's almost the New Year's 2023, 2024's here. Okay, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, coming back just in time for the 2024 elections. I haven't done anything at all this year, really. Um, nothing worthwhile. Just grinding out skill and suits, paying for college tuition for our, our hard-working liberals here. And it should be election day. The elections are being held. It's the presidential elections. It's big time. <sighs> After a long primary campaign, we've got a conservative and a liberal. Unfortunately, John Cosgrove cannot be re-elected, so he's being replaced by Jade Quincy on our ticket. Let's see how this unfolds. Oh yeah, looks like we've got this one in the bank, too. Bring it home, Jade! There we go, with 52.6%. And the Senate elections. Not as good as I wanted them to be. We haven't really done much this year to kind of remind the public, I guess. Um, so that's a plus three game. Mm, house, can we get more? Yes, we can. That's pretty damn good right there. Mm-hmm, the Liberal Party claims a victory with 17 seats gained. We're going to push them out before too much longer. And there's the important propositions. Um, we'll have to see where the sliders are. I haven't checked those for a while myself. No one really wants to curl tail police misconduct. I guess it's, it's probably not really that bad. We haven't really been, you know, assaulted or abused by the police unless we were asking for it, I guess, by shooting back or running. Um... See, this is the squad we've got. I'm working on one little ninja squad here. Wanted for vandalism. They're going to be... I think this group right here will be our prison breakers. We've got Draconian, Zijouti, and Zork. So we'll be seeing them all get gunned down probably in 2025. 
t probably towards the end of 2025, actually. I'm going to take 2024 and most of 2025 off from actually doing any violence here. And just um, continue to work on our forces. Okay, I'm going to get back to off screen here. Okay, and once again we come back to the elections. And apparently the Ohio River caught fire once again. It is almost November 1st. I told you I was going to be kind of skipping a lot of time here. I, I want to see how things, how things go. If things start to slip conservative again, we'll go back out there and make a bunch of noise. Let's see, we, this month we are going to run... Bum, 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 bum. We need to start slamming the corporations a little bit harder. Maybe get Congress to act and limit their rights a little bit. This time we run a story about genetic monsters. And the elections are being held today. I have no idea what they're electing. Wow. 100% no. Curl tail police conduct. Expand civil rights. <clears throat> hey, this got a little bit of yes. I believe that this has almost always been 100% no. Preserve traditional gender roles. So, we might be able to get that flipped soon. Stimulate economic growth. Okay, so those elections kind of sucked. I'll be back next year, probably for the next year's elections, unless we actually start doing a little bit of violence soon, which I'm not quite ready for just yet. Our group is still training. Look at all their skills. They're, they're raising through the roof here. We're going to hopefully be killing machines by the time we go back out there, and we can finally seal the deal here. It's already 2025. I have turtled and played a long time here. This needs to end. Well, apparently the conservative forces did not much care for our liberal guardian continuing to run, you know, stories every month. So they have sieged us, unfortunately, in our little building here. Our squad is the ninja group that I was making, and the two riders that we have, Dala and Professor JW. None of them have any real combat skills, though Draconian, Zauji, and Zork all have... They should have a little bit of first aid, I guess. Well, Zork doesn't. Dala, you've got real good first aid, actually. Persuasion, you know what? We might be able to bluff our way out of here. Instead of shooting our way out, we'll try to use some of these traps, too. Now that we've actually got them. I'm not going to surrender to them. Because I do not believe it is the police. I believe this is the yokels, and I did not want to bump into them, damn it. That was not on purpose. Let's see. Let's yell at them. Who's got the best bluffing? Zhao does. But it's only a nine. Dolly, you're good with issues, but I don't know. Um, you know, we're probably gonna start dying here. Damn it, I'm gonna make a mistake, and maybe I should just shoot them or try to dodge, but I'm gonna try to bluff, and... People are going to die here, and it's going to be horrible. Try to bluff the redneck. Yeah, go for a bluff. He pretends to be Mountain, like Patrick Swayze and Next of Kin, but he's not fooled, and Draconian is shot in the head, and fucking dies. Zhao is shot in the body and dies. And this is where we all die. Die, da die, da die, da die. Just fire your guns. Kill them all, kill yourselves. The liberal Guardian is shut down, and five good liberals are never heard from again. Better finish them off, and everyone's dead. Yeah. Okay, so, so much for the liberal Guardian squad, and so much for the ninja group I was training up. I'm going to continue to fast forward and off screen here, though. Elections will be up in two months, and I will see you guys again. Yeah, we're missing a huge chunk. I guess that means I need to go do a little bit more recruiting, huh? Poplars, you go ahead and start studying first aid. We're going to need some doctors. And actually also our leader, I think, is maxed out in psychology. So how about you just go learn, go learn kung fu. That'll be good for you. Okay, it is just about time for elections in 2026. I've recovered myself from that last beating that we had at the hands of the conservative scumbags who raided our liberal guardian. 
and killed many good liberals in the process. I have recruited a few more, and they're in training. Um, I will let you know, if these elections do not go our way, things are going to get real violent, I believe, here. It's just not enough. We don't own, we don't own the Senate good enough yet. There's just too many conservatives in there, and they keep cock-blocking us every time an issue comes up. We only took... Well, actually, that's pretty good there. Come on, keep taking them. Hell yeah! 25 more seats. And here's the important propositions for 2026. Awesome. Strike down both of those conservative ones. Gonna have to burn more flags, I think. So, here's the new squad that I've recruited. I haven't even given them names. This squad... I, I, I'm not doing any more crimes or anything like that until the next um, Senate elections, which will be in 2028. I'm pretty much going to be fast-forwarding until then, just training skills, um, doing what I've been doing here. And by 2028, if the sliders have not went even more liberal, like if there's still a lot of these conservative ones here, that group is going to go out and just cause a whole bunch of chaos. I may not record it all because... I'm 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 ready to end this. I think I've said this. I've done we've I've done pretty much everything here multiple times now, over and over and over. And the only reason we haven't completely crushed the elections with liberal votes is because I have continually failed. Yeah, as soon as we get a good run going, my guys get struck down due to my ineptitude here. But I'm gonna I'm gonna off screen for another two more years here, and I'll come back whenever something happens. But hopefully we do not get raided anymore. Hopefully no one else gets hauled off to prison or killed in the middle of the night. It's that time again, 2027. Um, and this is the last November 1st we'll see before we see more violence. Because I don't think that the liberal agenda is going to be pushed hard enough. In time for the next elections here. So let's see. November 1st. What type of elections are we having held today? Important propositions. I think this might actually just be it. The, this uh, election cycle is not a very major one. Prevent gun violence, got yes. Everything else, well, stimulate economic growth. Switch to yes. And expand animal research, yes. So, I guess I'm going to get the squad ready and I'll be back. I'll probably see you guys again at the end of June. I'm not going to start in the middle of the... Well, maybe September or August. We'll start the, the chaos right a few months before election time. So, I'll be back. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that you guys can see this little window that popped up here. Crimesquad.exe has stopped working. I just had a crash, and I'm not sure exactly how much data I've lost. Um, I'm going to close it out and see how far back I went. I know it's been quite a while since I closed the game out and reopened it. So hopefully it has some type of autosave feature. Otherwise, um, I might, yeah. Let's just hope that I haven't lost like five or six years here. Oh goody, I didn't lose any time at all, thankfully. Only like a day or two, I believe. Maybe a month or so, I'm not sure. Either way, everything's safe. Um, I hope your heart jumped, because mine certainly did whenever I saw that. Okay, I believe that it is time to get serious here. Um, let's take a look at the current situation with our squad. I have switched over almost everyone... Um, who is going to remain not engaged in violence here. I've switched them over to writing letters. We're starting a massive campaign of awareness right here before the elections. Um, I've got two people making suits. Hopefully those two people will be able to cover the rent. Well, I mean, I guess I, I don't really need them making suits here, do I? We've got $400,000. I told you I was going to build up a ton of money here. Um, they can write to newspapers to Joppy and whoever else that was. I've got Poplars at our life insurance place along with Azrael. Both, wait, is it Azrael? Yeah, they're both writing for the Liberal Guardian right now. 
even though we only have a few months left until the election, so... <clears throat> Excuse me, they're not going to be able to do too much with the Liberal Guardian, I don't think. Um, everyone there that you see attending classes, however, Locius, you write for newspapers too. But everyone that's a a attending classes in the Zakharov apartments right there, this group, it is Glencoe, his little company, his little side squad here, they are going to be starting their their operations, I guess you could say. They've been building up their skills. You can see wanted for breaking and entering, vandalism, letting rabbits run free, things like that. But they've all got fairly good disguise and security skill. Unfortunately, I do not have good weapon skill with them. Which is something that we're going to have to fix up here. So, what I wanted to try with this group... Oh yeah, and you'll see Thorstein there. I didn't give him a gun. Because he's our first Kung Fu guy, and he's got martial arts of seven. He's actually got more skill than anyone else in this group, even though everyone else is running around with AKs. So, I kind of wanted to test that out and see how martial arts does. What we're going to do is go down to... Um, let's see, let's go down to the Saint Housing Projects. And we're going to get into some gunfights here. <clears throat> and just get this group started. At some point they're gonna break into the prison and break out Medora's group because they're all setting in prison with... actually no, it leaves that place. They're running around in lab coats and that's not really acceptable. I'm gonna try bunker gear. Someone said that this was maybe better better armor. Metal Slime Hunt put a list of the armor and the ranking in the comments of video 12. I don't have it pulled up at this time, but I think the bunker gear was above body armor. And apparently the body armor that I was making is pretty much the worst body armor that you can wear. So we're going to have to find some military body armor at some point. And let's go back to the housing projects. And we're just going to dance around the entrance here. I don't want to go too far in. A fast food worker, gun him down. Just going to shoot everyone. I'm going to wait until reinforcements are arriving too. Oh, the soldier, no, the soldier got a shot off and shot Time Strangler. Damn it. We lost a guy on the second person we were shooting. Soldier tried to shoot Glenn. The soldier shoots Bert, and god damn it, kill him. I know none of our guys has skill, have any skill with weapons, but damn. Thorsten hits him. I don't think Kung Fu is very good. Shadow of an Assassin hits him in the body, and he's gone. And we're followed by Swine. This whole group might already die. Once again, I have made a terrible mistake. Let's go ahead and try to lose them. We keep the gas floor. They're still on our tail. They shoot Shadow of an Assassin. He... Man. <laughs> I'm going to end this video soon. I can't keep going through this. The conservatives are just putting up too much of a fight. I'm going to swerve away. And I'm getting tired of grinding skill. So we lost three guys there. God damn it. Okay, well, this squad then has to go break out Medora's group. <sighs> because now we need to fill those ranks there. We have two or three months until election, and I'm going to be damned if we don't completely win it this time. So to the prison we go, yes, with the whole group. They, we act natural. And I'm not going to pick up any items, not a single thing, <clears throat> until we release our guys, and then it's going to be chaos. I believe it was this way. Come on, guys. You can do this. Through this door and then this one. We unlock that one. Another door. We unlock that one. Come on. We act natural. How many locked doors are we going to have to go through? Okay. The prison control room. I think this is where I want to go. I believe there's also cells somewhere. Like prison cells. Not back here. So let's go ahead and release him. Okay, now that's where we gotta go. We rescue everyone. Kelderon was on hunger strike. Glenn carries him. We've rescued Z Sword. He was severely beaten. We'll have to carry him. We've rescued Alchemia. He was beaten. We've rescued Daedric Dwarf. He was beaten. God, you guys were all getting your asses kicked in here. A bunch of sissies. Man, you guys should have toughened up while you were in there a little bit. They look at us suspiciously. 
<clears throat> we're not gonna make it out, guys. If this squad dies, I'm just gonna disband our group, I think, and let time sort it out. There's no way I'm building up another group. I refuse. <clears throat> and we're out. Absolutely awesome. So, the group is back together here. Um, let's reorder them. Midori... wait. No. Reorder. Zero. Okay, yeah, Midori, you go to the top, and then let's put... Uh, Master Fancy Pants. And then who else needs to go up here? I think... it doesn't matter after that. There we go. So what do we need now? First off, let's get everybody dressed back in bunker gear. Whoops. No, not bondage gear. Did I put it? No. Put an army body armor on. Oh, nice. When did we get army body armor? Um, let's see. Glenn. Do I have any more bunker gear? Yeah. Glenn, you take that one. I guess that's it for there. Got tons of police uniforms. Wow. It's at the Zakharov apartments, huh? There's gonna be a lot of heat on that place soon, I believe. Wanted for escaping prison. Wanted for murder. Escaping prison, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go down to... The homeless shelter. Let's go there. Not for a safe house. I want to see if we can find some gang members here. Some, wait, that was a gang member. There are moderate gang members here, apparently. Midor, you need to buy some weapons from this guy. Aw, oh, damn it, you can't buy weapons here. If I go to Fiddlebottom, um, we're here to cause trouble. Oh, there are some gang members here. Damn it. I always skip right through them. Many gang members are mercenaries. Yeah, I found out off-screen that you can buy weapons from mercenaries, too. There's probably a lot of other different uh, classes that you can buy weapons from. Come on. Crackhead. Crackhead might be able to sell us some drugs. There's the gang member. Sell us some stuff. Guns are expensive now, by the way. In case you did not notice. Thanks to an elite liberal <clears throat> um, rating that we've got on gun control. Thornstein, I don't much care for your kung fu grip. You're going to go ahead and get an AK as well. Dimitri, whoops. Stumbling through these screens. I haven't done them enough. Okay, now do this. Buy all that. As many clips as you can carry, folks. I don't know where we're going next. Maybe to the nuclear plant. I believe that some of these guys that I've got with us have actually trained up. Yeah, we're out of here. I believe they've actually trained up with science. Let's find out. Midor, you've got amazing skills, of course. And you're almost maxed out on juice. You lost two of your recruits. Dowd, Pride, and Griffin God, I believe. Whenever you went to prison. Master Fancy Pants. No. Okay. What to do, what to do here. First off, let's put everyone in the same vehicle. And Dimitri, you are going to need bit better armor there. We can always make some, of course. All of my guys in this squad, I believe, have pretty much maxed out tailoring. That's one thing everyone in our squad is capable of. They can they can sew the finest garments in the land. No, okay. I was hoping it would be easy. Let's go ahead and go down to the homeless shelter. We're here just for a safe house. So I can grab some gear while we're here. Oh wait, we've got an MP5 here, and an M16? Hmm, I don't know which is better. M16, AK-47. Do I have any... 
I guess I'm out of bunker gear, and I really don't feel like crafting any, so... Dimitri, you get some crappy body armor, and... Also, Sir Drake. Because we're not going to be running around trying to disguise ourselves. No, sir. Um, I believe that will be it, though. Make sure, okay. <coughs> Excuse me, I think I'm dying. Want to move back to the apartments. That way we don't bring heat down upon our leaders. I really don't want to see them get raided again. I'm tired of having the squads be broke up. I think that we will first send them to the nuclear power plant. Oh, that's right. I completely forgot what I was looking for, but I wanted to see who had the highest science skill. I'm sure some of you were hoping to find out. Got sidetracked thinking about what we were going to be doing next. It's so, so imperative that we don't screw this next few months up, because I don't want to redo this. Maybe we don't have anyone with a good science skill. 0.78 is the highest I've seen so far. I wouldn't be surprised if people with science skill that I trained up ended up dying somehow. 0.47... Well, maybe we shouldn't have came here. I thought that we were going to be able to trigger the nuclear power plant this time and actually, you know, shut it down. But I was mistaken. We're going to get in a shootout instead. A security guard yells at us. So this is where we start dying again. We shoot the lab techs, because otherwise they're not going to leave us alone. A security guard stands in our way as we break into the main room. And we fail. We resign ourselves and leave to shoot our way out. Excuse us, comrades, coming through. Please make way. Make sure to vote in the upcoming elections. And where do we want to go now? <clears throat> you know, I really should see what the important issues are. So, we have the death penalty. The only thing that's left liberal. Police regulation, nuclear power, women's rights, privacy rights are all liberal. All these green things all the way to the right are elite liberal and a lot of moderate stuff. I guess it really doesn't matter. Um, animal rights, we could go to the genetics. We could, okay, we could do genetics a little bit and we could go release a bunch of, of the slaves. So, let's go ahead and go down to first the CEO residence. We're gonna stay here a while. We're gonna release as many servants as we can, I think. I guess we could make our way through here. Start picking stuff up. Nobody is showing themselves. They see us coming from a distance and they quickly duck into a doorway or poke their head around a corner. A guard dog. Hello, doggy. Are, are, are animal rights elite liberal? I don't know if we can bluff the dog. Let's try. Sydney McQueen says woof. The dog says woof. And then he barks at us. So we shoot him into bits. He's now a little doggy jerky. What do we got here? Run, servant, run. Cheap jewelry. I guess they were making cheap jewelry for the master of the house here. Um, I'm not leaving yet. Another guard dog. I uh, should have released the servant first. And reinforcements incoming. Let's go. Yeah, we're followed. Okay, Sir Drake is driving. He's only got four driving. They're in a jeep, we're in a sports car. I don't want to shoot at them, because we'll hit the car and not do any damage, and they'll pop off like six headshots in a row. So we're going to keep the... yeah, we're going to outrun them. Good job, Sir Drake. Really hope you keep that up. 4.95 driving. He'll be leveling that up soon. He'll never repra replace Griffin God, but he'll do. He'll do. Let's go to the corporate HQ kick open the door and there's a security guard in here. He's not going to let us pass. So we gun him down and yikes. I don't know if I... now we're not going to try to make it all the way down there. Three security guards. Thornstein shoots, hits one in the arm. Sir Drake shoots, hits one in the head. Dimitri misses. Se security guards both are moaning so they're both too wounded to fight back. Three security guards? Man, they got this place locked down. They've hired extra security recently. They heard that we were back. They heard that Medor was out of prison. 
in the corporate world just shit their pants. Glenn shoots the corporate manager, hits the body, he is down. Come on. I don't want to lose anyone yet. Security guard only has a nightstick. And <laughs> he swings at us but hits the secretary in the jaw. She runs off, screaming. The security guard has alienated the masses. Well, we're gonna keep we're gonna stay here just a little bit more. There we go, another security guard, he's down. Get a little bit of loot this way too. Not that we need it. Another security guard. And we are out of here. And we're followed. A mercenary, huh? I want to open fire. This is maybe a good chance to pick up some rifle skill. Midor shoots, hit the car twice. Master Fancy Pants hits the body. Blasts his liver. He's hit in the arm. Glenn hits, and he's gone. LCS hits a corp. So you guys keep writing the news. We're going to be out there making it. Intelligence HQ? No. Nope. Nope. I am drawing the line for now. How about we go down to genetics, release some of these mutants, A riot, two writhing masses, good training, we don't have to feel guilty about killing people with families there, a bunch of things jump out. These monsters, if they're not completely harmless, so don't really think that. I mean, they're worth fighting in your game, obviously, no matter your skill, but they can really tear you up if you go unprepared, like if you go with Kung Fu, or something like that. A bunch of things crawl out of this one. You want to go with high-powered guns, is what I'm trying to say. And lots of them. A six-legged pig. Does that make extra bacon? I doubt it. Okay, where are the doors on this place? We've alienated the masses. Oh no! Janitors. Why? The janitor completely falls apart. The LCS is sorry, damn it. We didn't mean to. A liberal crime squad operation went horribly wrong. The events took place at the notorious Taylor Genetics, a dangerous conservative genetics research lab. The liberal crime squad engaged in combat with conservative forces and accidentally killed a few innocents. We are truly sorry, comrades. For that, we apologize. Heat is up to 25%. And you know what? It's time to get all of my sleepers activated, too. They can be adv advocating liberalism and pressing the issue before the elections here. Even my ones who are not very effective. I went on a little bit of a recruiting spree with sleepers, too. I wanted a couple lawyers. And um, I've had some of these actually promoting liberalism on and off for the last few years. I did find out how to use sleepers, finally. Uh, they're fairly useful. I'm kind of glad we have them. And let's see, where should we go? Let's go to the cosmetics plant now. And yeah, I keep looking at... Oh, now they're... Yeah, they're suspicious. We, I guess we could have taken them down there, but I, I, I wanted to make it into the building first this time. That security guard's not going to let us pass. Another secretary. I don't feel like bluffing my way or trying to reason with them, intimidate them. Hello, ladies. Don't mind me. Just releasing the bunnies here. Keep doing what you do. And... Ah, uh, reinforcements are already coming in. Dang it. There's a security guard charging after us. Crazy guy. Two police officers. Mm, I was really not wanting to fight police. Two of them are down. The police are finally responding. It went from reinforcements to full-on police very quick. The SWAT will be here soon. Yeah, we're being followed. Come on, Sir Drake. This is what you do, right? We swerve around the corner, and everyone falls behind. And the liberal crime squad broke up some mad scientists' evil research today. No more gene manipulation for you, you bastards. I think today we will go to... Hmm. You know what? We're going to go to the frothy mug latte stand. I haven't actually done this, these type of places very often. An eminent scientist and a mercenary. But there are different types of people that you can meet here. There's a police officer. And I'm not sure if, like, taking out scientists is any different from taking out a janitor. If it actually changes anything in the game, you know what I mean? If it helps the liberal agenda at all. 
And reinforcements are already on their way to the latte stand. There's a lot of people there. We're going to try to lose them. And we lose them all. Good job. A heroic strike. The liberal crime squad has struck again. The events took place at the notorious frothy mug latte stand. They engaged in combat with conservative forces. Rock on. Intelligence HQ, no. I would love to go to the army base. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna go to the army base. This is dumb. This is a dumb idea. But I'm not even. We're not even gonna go very far in here. Well, wait. We do blend in. That's kind of strange. Three soldiers. Nah, I don't want to go too far. Another soldier. We'll grab this. An M16. A soldier. Okay, now they're alarmed. Yeah, let's get out of here. We're gonna have to take a few of them down. We shoot him. He's down. What I wanted to do is come here and get some body armor. Some military grade body armor and things like that. Anything better than what we've made. We're gonna get in one more fight before we leave. Oh boy. Oh really? The game's like, oh, you wanna do more fighting against soldiers, huh? Well here, here you go. Here, have this. Take this. Um I could try to bluff actually, because I really don't want to get in a shootout with this many. But, if we bluff and fail, then all five of them get to return fire at us unimpeded. Open fire! Medora shock test hits one in the head, he's down, Master Fancy Pants reloads. Thorstein hits one in the head, blasts his tongue off, Glenn hits one in the arm, Sir Drake hits one in the leg, and Dimitri hits one in the body. Thorstein dodges out of the way just in time, and ah, Sir Drake catches three bullets to the body and he's down, our driver is dead. Damn! Those dickheads! They always gotta kill our drivers. Medora Shock Test picks him up with one arm and flings him over his shoulder, then slings his AK-47 and hits a soldier in the body. He drops after Master Fancy Pants hits him at the same time. And... <clears throat> they're all down. Okay. And we're being followed by Humvees. Let's go ahead... Wait, who's our driver? Who's got the highest driving skill here? This is not good. No one. No one has any driving skill at all. We should be able to lose them in this car. Humvees shouldn't have as much acceleration and top speed and handling and everything as a sports car, right? But at the same time, since no one has any skill, we could easily flip, wreck, blow up, but they've all got M16s, I'm sure. So I don't really want to get in a gunfight with them. I guess we're going to try to lose them. It's always about decisions, and I'm going to make the wrong one. Let's go. We screech through. Soldiers are still on our tail. And Dimitri is dead. This is where the killing starts. Oh, boy. Master Fancy Pants. Soldier hits him a door. He's hitting the body. His stomach is blasted. Master Fancy Pants returns fire. Glenn returns fire and misses. They always hit us. We're badly wounded. Dimitri's dead. A truck pulls out in our path. Is this how it ends? I don't want to bail out and run. Let's see, Master Fancy Pants is our driver now. With 3.57 skill. How did he get that much skill? Um, a truck pulls out. Go ahead and... You know what? speed around it. We swerve to avoid it. The Humvee slams into a, vi a building and the soldier, damn it, he hits Master Fancy Pants. Why have you forsaken me, father? And he dies in a heat. Medora misses. He returns fire. Glenn shoots. Glenn takes over the will now. God damn it. Master Fancy Pants, rest in peace. I'm ready for this to be over with. This war sucks. I'm tired of it. Um, you don't have any driving. We've got three people left. Two of them are badly wounded. We're speeding towards a fruit stand. Evasive driving, try it. We swerve to avoid it. Medor cries out. We try to lose them. They shoot Thorstein. They shoot Medor. Medor reloads. Thorstein shoots. Glenn shoots. Medor yells. Come on, lose them. They're still on our tail. They shoot Glenn. They shoot Thorstein. Great. 
Thorstein. Midor takes over the will. Return fire, I guess. We're just gonna return fire until they're dead. I'm tired of running here. Thorstein hits one in the body. And Midor finally dies at the will. Thorstein takes over the will. And Thorstein dies. Well. And we wreck and everyone is thrown clear. <clears throat> and Z Sword is promoted. We're gonna lose a lot of people here. This is the end of the Liberal Crime Squad, as far as I'm concerned. The group is probably never going to reform after this. We'll have to see how well we did affecting the Liberal agenda. This group's pretty much going to call it quit after this. Poplars will take over. Tons of promotions. Yeah, everything's changing here. Gamma Ray's promoted. Everything is switched up. Kreiser's lost touch, a heroic strike by the Liberal Crime Squad. Oh, boy. Here we go. That's everyone that's left. That's pretty good, actually. We lost a lot of people. I mean, and we've still got a lot of people. But at the same time, I don't feel like building up another combat squad. I simply can't do it. I, I refuse. We are switching away from violence, and we are going into... How about writing mode? Liberal activism. No, I don't want to. I don't want anyone to get in trouble. So I'm gonna assign them all to writing to newspapers. I don't want them out there splashing blood and everything on people because the police will occasionally pick them up, arrest them for loitering, and take them out of action for two months. So this is what we do. It's 2028, and we're just gonna fast forward here. They're voting on a, in a, a, the agenda here. Let's see what happens. Press any key to watch what Jade does. Jade's been pretty good. As long as uh, he can, he tends to vote for the liberal issues. He doesn't veto them or ignore them, at least. So, September 1st. We need to, re we need to forward all the way to November 1st here. And then I'm gonna probably I'm gonna disband the group, guys. I know some of you are saying, "No, Plump, you've done so much. Keep at it until you win." We've done enough. Look where we've pushed it. This is good enough. You don't, yeah. We're gonna abandon it and just continue working from the the sidelines, I believe. And here we go. The elections are being held today after a long primary campaign. Look, there's not even a conservative president up for run. It's only a moderate. Jade Quincy is up for re-election, and he's gonna win it, hands down. Rock on, Jade. We're some of your strongest supporters here. The Senate elections for 2028. Uh, we gained four, five more seats. That's pretty good. We have a... Yeah, we own the Senate now, I believe. The House. We definitely own the House now. There's, they're not going to be able to stop us to filibuster us or anything like that. And there's the important propositions. All of these should pass. I, yeah, I don't think that they're going to they're be able to stop us now. After we disband, of course, it could be a different issue. We could watch all of the hard work that we put in here pissed away. So here we are. This is where I am leaving it. It is November 1st, 2028. This is, let's take one last look at our remaining liberals here. These are the remaining heroes that are still alive. All very strong individuals. Let's see, some of them have been with us for a lot longer than others. Does anyone have a rap sheet? Kylo Hammerfall, you have Escaping Prison 1. Three Man 7 5, Escaping Prison, Daedric Dwarf. I mean, we've got lots of warriors left. I'm just, I'm, I'm ready to call it, guys. We have done enough. I'm tired of losing, of losing my beloved liberals. My heart can, can take it no more. Um, but there they are. Our leader. Look at that skill. Talked her way out of how many cases? Unable to be held down by the man? Constantly walking out laughing? Amazing. Jonathan S. Fox got out of prison. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned that. We didn't break him out. He was released after serving his time, which was something like five years, I believe. And he's back with us doing his thing. Calderon, no face. Wanted for escaping prison. 
went to prison by because he tried to free some people and now he's broke out of prison wandering the lands blind samurai gamma ray rar 359 the founder of rarco that gave birth to Midor in his reign of liberal terror he came to us from the void and he went back to the void bless him z sword Wanted for escaping prison, you have one leg, you gave your left leg to the liberal cause. You got tons of heart, couldn't ask more from you, mate. Akemia, there you go, you escaped prison. Daedric Dwarf. Um, I can't remember what you did. I think you were with one of the original... You were with the Medora's original squad, I believe. Three man seven five, you two. You came to us as Arnold Calton Brunner. I believe a little bum of a servant that I didn't even want. A little beggar with no skill, no future. And look what you've become now. Your parents would be proud. And Poplars, there you are. You were a fairly new recruit. Everyone from Poplars on was new, I believe. Don, Lokius. You guys didn't get to do much. Kylo, Lucane, Azriel. You guys were pretty much just money bags pumping out suits for us. So here we are also. Here's the issues and where the country stood on them. Fairly interesting if you want to read it and look at it. Tells you what yeah, what they thought. Government strongly enforces a ban on torture, death penalty is in effect but under scrutiny. Free speech is tolerated and thankfully flag burning is only a misdemeanor now. You can burn as many flags as you want, and I don't believe you'll ever get 30 years in prison for it. Taxes are high and steeply graded. And it is illegal to buy, sell, or carry a gun in public. Thanks to us, no doubt. I'm sure the public got tired of places being shot up. Us and the CCS. Hopefully the CCS has a little bit of competition now. But I'm done rambling. Let's go ahead and disband here. And, um... Yep, I am sure. So let's see, are you, are you sure you want to disband? It scatters the liberal crime squad, sending all of its members into hiding, free to pursue their own lives. Maybe some of them will return to family lives, maybe some of them will continue fighting for the liberal agenda, there's no telling. We'll be able to observe the political situation in brief and wait until a resolution is reached. We can jump in at any time, I believe, if we want to. If, like, say, the conservative menace started to take over way too much, you could jump back in and start the fight again if you wanted to. Um, we will lose most of our members, unfortunately. But that's fine. And there we go. So, November 28th. Let's just um, see how this goes. And the public mood is staying liberal. Uh, looks like some things are going moderate. Everything is already swinging. Everything is already undone. It took 20-some years, but everything once again swung back conservative. They were just too strong, and the liberals did not have a force capable of standing up to them, unfortunately. So how far can we forward? I guess that's as far. So there you go, folks. Um, Dion is working on a liberal crime squad that... It's a version of it, a modded version of Liberal Crime Squad. I may actually try that out at some point. I don't know if I will do it as in-depth as I did this time. I mean, I might do a lot more off-screening in that one. Primarily because now I've been through it all. That was one of my first times of actually taking Liberal Crime Squad seriously like that. And it was actually pretty fun, but I, I don't know if I'd ever want to record every single little little step again. But I don't know. Then, you know, thanks again to everyone who joined in, everyone who commented, everyone whose name I used and abused and drug through the mud. And I will see you on the next game, whatever it is.